Hello and welcome to the short video for those of you that are looking to go chartering and wanted to know what you should be checking for when you arrive. The first thing is to find the main control panel and circuit breakers. There will be buttons here for everything from VHF, lights, navigation lights etc. And then find the fire extinguishers and the first aid kit. Fire blanket, which should be in the galley. And another fire extinguisher, which should be on deck in the lazarette. That's the cupboards on deck. Battery isolator switches should then be found, so that you can isolate batteries in the event of a fire. And also the fuel isolator, which on small modern yachts is normally in one of the aft cabins. Find where the gas is on deck, it should be in a vented cabinet. Make sure it's secure, you have gas, and that the gas is off unless you're using it. Always isolate the gas on deck in between uses. The gas below deck is isolated separately. Across the pipe is off, in line with the pipe is on, and then you can use the cooker as normal. Most boats nowadays have a 12 volt or 24 volt chest fridge. Check that that's working. And make sure that you brief your crew on how to use the manual heads. Nothing should go down the heads, of course, that hasn't gone through you first. Make sure seacocks are all functioning, working, and that you've eased them all to make sure they're not too stiff. And also make sure that there are bungs attached to each of the seacocks so that if a skin fitting or seacock breaks, you can stem the flood. I suggest nothing goes down the heads except for what's gone through you or a limited amount of paper. Make sure that you flush through clear, then pull the switch across to pump water through. That's pumping water from outside through the heads and back outside. Make sure you do about 15 pumps before you then pump clear again by switching over to away from the heads and pumping clear dry. Leave it in the dry position. The electric bilge pump, which is automatic when switched on at the main panel, and the manual bilge pump, which is normally activated from deck, should be found, located and make sure they're working, together with the electric water pump for fresh water. Most boats also have water heater, a 240 volt, which is used when you're alongside, and also a water which is heated from the engine. Check you have the appropriate charts, that they're in date and properly amended, and also almanacs, boat information, insurance documentation, uh, make sure the barometer and other navigational instruments are all working. And then check in the lazarette to make sure you have everything you'd expect, which should be everything from life raft, day shapes, sponges, buckets with lanyards, fire extinguisher, etc. You should get an inventory when you join the boat and you should also be shown around the boat by the charterer. Once you've checked the inventory, completed all paperwork and brief your crew properly, then all that's necessary is to go enjoy yourself. If you'd like to download a PDF with a free sailing tutorials recommended checklist, then please click on the link above. Thanks a lot and enjoy your sailing.